BBC reporters experienced the scariest parts of journalism when they were pelted by fiery rocks, rolling boulders, and boiling steam as the volcano Mount Etna erupted right in front of them. There's close to the action, and then there's too close to the action. Literally. Rebecca Morell, the global science correspondent for BBC News, explained that she was part of a team that had arrived in Sicily to report on the volcano. They were aware that the volcano had started to erupt, but apparently lava flows really slow, and somehow between a team of scientists and some tourists, they figured, oh, the sky is blue, it's a beautiful day, what could go wrong? 20 minutes after arriving, steam started to shoot out of the volcano. And then in an article that Morel wrote for the BBC, she says, Moments later, there was an explosion. The lava had mixed with snow and ice, and boiling rocks and boulders were flung up high into the air. They started to rain down in every direction. Somehow the team got to the bottom of the mountain completely unharmed. And amazingly, camerawoman Rachel Price kept shooting throughout. That is one woman completely dedicated to her job. Rebecca tweeted a picture of Rachel's jacket saying, Here's news camera woman with a massive hole, a lump of rock burnt through her coat. In another tweet, she also added, An estimated eight injuries logged by medical team here, an amazing 78-year-old lady who was very close but safely got away. Toby Pettinger tweets, Glad they're all okay, but was there no warning? I'm pretty sure that the steam and the lava flowing out of the active volcano was warning enough. They just chose to ignore it. And Tommy tweets, It's always a smart idea to be very near an active volcano. Pure genius. Maybe it's human nature, but somehow when you tell people not to do something, they always seem to want to do the exact opposite. In this video, a team of scientists with National Geographic visited the active volcano to the east of Australia, and even with this incredible drone footage, they got a little too close, if you ask me. Would you be willing to get up close and personal with an active volcano just to take a look? Let us know in the comments below, and like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.